My name is Kate Drew Wilkinson, and I've lived in Bisbee for 20 years. Okay. And uh, you're an artist, so tell me about what I'm, you I'm do. A, I'm, a, I'm a jewelry designer, but predominantly I'm a glass bead maker okay. and a writer. Awesome. So I want to hear a little bit, I know you have something to say, but I want to hear a little bit about this actress stint. Well, I was trained at the Old Vic in England. I was a Shakespearean actress, and then I went to Hollywood, and then I went to New York. And what most people here know about me is I was in the original company of a very notorious show in New York called O Calcutta. And that was um, it, very scandalous in its day, and of course now it's very tame to even remember it. But, you know, I was in Playboy, and you know, I was a foxy little thing, and now I'm just a little old lady. <laughs> foxy <laughs> Are your eyelashes real? <laughs> Extensions <they're> amazing. <laughs> I reckon that when you get old, your eyes are the only things you have to flirt with. Your eyelashes <laughs> so, are awesome. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, so, the questions are around, they're framed around why did you stay, why did you return, or why did you leave this time? Perfectly simple. I came here for the day, I was living in Mexico, I came here for the day uh, in 1993. I was working on a book in Tucson, I came here for the day. And I would, I, within four hours, I turned to my, the man I was married to at the time, and I said, everything changes. This is like Sausalito Waterfront in California, where I used to live, uh, but in the desert, and I am supposed to live here, and there's no doubt in my mind. So I went straight to an old real estate lady here and um, found a house that wasn't for sale, and the lady that lived in it was in a hospice. So. I put a bid on the house. It was a house and a barn and a garden, and I put a bid on it for fifty thousand dollars. They were asking sixty-nine, and um, they took it. So all of a sudden, I had a house in Bisbee. I had no idea what I was getting into, and to cut everything short, now and I've never lived anywhere in my life for more than two years in my life because of my background. Um, a lot of people who live here came for the day and, and never left. And what I really want to say is that I t travel quite a lot and I go into different countries and I teach what I do and I, I'm quite a traveller. And it doesn't matter where I go, when I come through the tunnel back to Bisbee, it's always a huge sigh of relief. I can live anywhere I want in the world and sometimes I'm tempted to go somewhere else. But in the end, for 20 years, I've lived in Bisbee, thrived in Bisbee, become poor in Bisbee, struggled in Bisbee, but celebrated every day of being here with the kind of people who live here, the beautiful architecture, the amazing weather. I guess above all the kindness of the people who live here and the intelligence of so many of them too. That's really it. That's beautiful. Thank you. What an awesome story. That's beautiful.